So subsurface watering is not a new thing. It's honestly been going around for probably thousands of years. It's been commercially available for about 10 years, 10, 15 years. And uh, people have been cutting, you know, two, three, four inch PVC pipe and drilling holes in it for years. So long about 10 years ago, our friends at uh, Hunter and Rainbird started putting out some products and I brought uh, some of those products today. So they're very simple, straightforward devices that install right under the ground and connect into your existing irrigation system. In the case of uh, Rainbird and Hunter, they have a mesh screen that is uh, 360 degrees around and they have a, uh, I believe, uh, 0.3 gallon per hour bubbler inside the unit. So, and they have uh, five different sizes. So they have uh, the small guy I just showed you, um, a couple before this size, and then the big guy here. And obviously they're set up, you know, depending on what the depth of root is for the trees, you would use a different depth of device. Pretty simple and straightforward. The Hunter devices, and by the way, these are all very similarly priced on the market. Uh, and I would imagine from a wholesale standpoint for uh, you contractors that it would be something that with you know, reasonable margins uh, for you to make some money on the devices as well. Um, Hunter has a similar device with a similar mesh. Uh, again, a bubbler unit. They all have uh, slightly different types of caps that are available, but generally the devices rely on water going in the ground and the capillary action of the water in the soil moving out. And in this case, it moves out you know, 360 degrees around the device. And typically what we found is within 10 or 15 minutes with a loamy soil, a loamy sandy soil, uh, you can cover 18 inches to three feet, as much as three feet out. So subsurface watering is quite effective. And as you, uh, the way we design the root quencher, the main device is that it's adjustable. So instead of having five different devices, you have one device. And if you have shallow roots, you can install it at nine inches. Uh, in the case of these blueberries, they're 9 to 12 inches root, so I believe the device is installed about like that. But you can adjust it all the way down to 22 inches uh, for fruit trees, for example, which is what you'll see in, our, in both of our orchards. So the device will go down 22 inches, fully extended. And one of the advantages we think we have is that we can actually control the direction of the water. So we've made these holes in the side, instead of having a perforated channel, uh, we actually have directional plugs that plug into the unit so that you can force the water out in a particular way. So if you were you know, installing it next to a tree and the tree is here, you can put directional plugs back here and the water will push this way. Um, we also have uh, drain holes at the bottom so that uh, water doesn't collect in the device over time because uh, that is one of the big questions from a lot of irrigation professionals is, well, is our roots going to grow into this? Is it going to end up busting it over time? And I would say with three and a half years of testing so far, no. Uh, we've actually installed, dug up, reinstalled, reinstalled. Greg has done a lot of that. and. Uh, we haven't seen any root invasion at all and and i think it's because the water is flowing out and through capillary action moving away from the device and in the case of you know broken sprinkler pipes and sewer lines and things like that the water is sitting there in the pipe so no water actually sits in this pipe so the root quencher also uh, has an adjustable valve yeah. so you, and then we can just pour our fertilizer right in there right Awesome.